I've always been interested in writing. Um, my focus when I was an undergrad was mainly uh, English, single subject matter. So I was studying to be a teacher on top of um, creative writing as um, a subset of my undergrad program. Phyllis Love and Eric Berger, both of them really sold me on Hofstra and how much I would be welcomed into the program if I came. And um, they definitely did not disappoint when I got here. I definitely was welcomed in with uh, open arms. The genre of writing I decided to focus on was poetry. I mean, poetry always evolves with the times, whatever is necessary within the society, I feel like. Um, poetry has always been politically charged because everything that is personal is also political as well. Um, I'm inspired by a lot of different things. Um, currently, the poets that have inspired me lately have uh, been Tracy K. Smith, uh, Yusuf Kumanyaka, uh, Virginia Woolf. While she's not a poet, though, everything that she writes, I think, is very poetic. Uh, Aria Celis Guillerme, uh, I've been very inspired by a lot of her work. Um, as also a performance poet, I've also used poetry as a means to kind of tap into a larger audience who perhaps do not fit within the academic setting of writing. Because I firmly believe that poetry is for the people. So any way that poetry evolves or finds its way in perhaps the inside and outside life of academia or even on the streets, I've always felt that poetry belongs everywhere and anywhere at all times. There's always been a divide, in my opinion, between performance poetry and academic poetry. Academic poetry requires, well, not necessarily requires though, but academic poetry allows more time between the writer and the audience. I feel as though with academic poetry, it allows you to play more with form, it allows you to play more with context, allows you um, to play with different types of things, um, whether it be physically or tactilely, that perhaps performance poetry doesn't do. That being said, performance poetry, in my opinion, oftentimes is more accessible in that um, people, you have a very short amount of time to connect with an audience. So you have to perhaps, the subject matter, or perhaps the way you actually perform hand gestures and what have you, and the content, of course, uh, taps in with the audience. I've been a performance poet since I was 18, so I always have found that um, I go where my heart goes. Sometimes your interests have a very great way of finding you, and I've been very fortunate that the things that I love have come to find me, and then, um, yeah, I kind of go where it goes. Since then, I've, I've done a feature or two, um, and it's been really exciting so far. The MFA community on campus, as far as the faculty-student relationship, the faculty are very um, observant. They're very good about incorporating the students as much as possible because they recognize that the program is for them and it's about them. They are the focus of the program. Um, I think that when Phyllis and when Eric Broger picked people, they were looking for those kinds of people on top of talented individuals in terms of their writing who are very passionate about their writing and are very passionate about finding other people to build a community with. Because it's not just about getting a degree, it's about networking, it's about finding people who share the same passions as you do, it's about building with other people who want the same things you want, um, success in writing, to make a name for yourself. What I hope to do with my poetry is I hope to have a chapbook published. Um, hopefully, we'll see what happens by the time I'm done. What I want is to take my uh, performance poetry on the road, so to speak. I want to be able to perform at venues and get paid to do such things. What I want is to be in workshops and to teach and to write and to travel and to see where poetry takes me as far as it does. I firmly believe that you can't just be a poet or just be an artist. You have to do other things with your life. So, but at the same time, I feel like poetry is, poetry is a part of me. Poetry is a big part of who I am, my identity and everything that encompasses it. So what I want ultimately is to teach travel rights uh, perform, meet people, grow, build a community, save people with my poetry, um, save the youth especially. That's what's something I would really love to do long term is that find ways to tap into the youth and how poetry can affect them. Hofstra has definitely given me a lot and helped me grow as a person. It, the program has made me really realize that you're not going to just be handed things, you have to go work for them. If you want things badly enough, you have to go get them. So you want to be a performance poet, you have to go out and make a name for yourself. You have to go put yourself out there. If you want your, if you want to stick out in the classroom, you have to make a point to raise your hand and talk during everything. You have to keep trying and keep striving and that no one's going to just give it to you just because you're in this program. Um, Hofstra has definitely shown me that um, school is not meant to be a safety net, but it's meant to be an environment which nurtures certain things, but it's not supposed to be something you cling on to for the rest of your life.